Ever wondered what it takes to make hearts race and cheeks flush? Welcome to the fiery world of flirting. No, we're not talking about cheesy pickup lines or cliché gestures, but a captivating dance of words and glances that can turn a casual conversation into a heart-throbbing encounter. Imagine yourself at a gathering, a party, or even a grocery store. Suddenly you lock eyes with someone, an electrifying exchange of glances, a playful banter, and before you know it, you've got their attention. But how do you transform that fleeting moment into a lasting connection? That, my friends, is where the art of flirting comes in. Flirting, in its essence, is a form of communication. It's a way of saying, hey, I'm interested in you, without having to say a word. It's about creating a dynamic, a rhythm that keeps the conversation flowing and the interest ignited. And while it may seem like some people are just born with the ability to flirt, let me assure you, it's an art that can be mastered. Now, when we say flirting, we are not talking about manipulative tactics or insincere gestures. No, the art of flirting is all about authenticity. It's about being genuine, being yourself, and allowing your natural charisma to shine. It's about respecting boundaries while expressing your interest and desire. And confidence? It's the golden thread that weaves through every successful flirtation. A confident demeanor can turn an ordinary interaction into an extraordinary one. But remember, Confidence is not about arrogance or overbearing behavior. It's about being comfortable in your own skin, being proud of who you are, and not being afraid to show it. So, we've lit the spark. Now, let's fan the flames with some fiery flirting techniques. Flirting is not just throwing cheesy one-liners. It's about creating an irresistible presence. It's about painting an alluring picture without uttering a single word. See, the art of flirting extends beyond verbal communication. It's also about body language and non-verbal cues. Think about it. A simple smile, a confident posture, or even a playful wink can speak volumes. It's these subtle signs that can make you more approachable, more magnetic. Now let's talk about eye contact. It's like a secret language, a silent conversation. When you lock eyes with someone, it's like saying, hey, I see you and I'm interested. But remember, it's all about balance. Too little and you may seem uninterested. Too much and it can be overwhelming. And lastly, open body language. This means facing the person you're flirting with, maintaining relaxed posture, and avoiding crossing your arms. Remember, it's not about what you say, but how you say it. Flirting is a dance, not a race. It's about expressing desire without crossing boundaries. The art of flirting is not about getting to the finish line as quickly as possible, but rather, it's about enjoying the journey. It's about creating a connection that's built on respect and mutual consent. Expressing your interest and desire is an essential part of this dance. But how do you do it without making the other person uncomfortable? The secret lies in being attentive and considerate. Pay attention to the other person's body language and respond accordingly. If they seem uncomfortable, dial it back a notch. If they're reciprocating your advances, keep the dance going. Remember, flirting should be a fun and enjoyable experience for both parties involved. It's not about winning or losing, it's about creating a memorable moment. So, master the dance of desire, but always remember to respect the other person's space and comfort. In the art of flirting, authenticity is your secret weapon. This isn't about playing games or wearing masks, it's about revealing your real self, your true colors. When you're genuine, you create an atmosphere of trust and intimacy, a safe space where flirtation can naturally bloom. So how do you show genuine interest? It begins with listening. Tune into the other person's words, their stories, their dreams. Respond in kind. Share your own tales, your passions. This isn't a monologue. It's a dialogue, a dance of words and emotions. Remember, authenticity doesn't mean oversharing or laying your entire life story on the table. It's about being real in the moment, responding with sincerity and interest. It's about being present, being engaged and truly connecting. So be genuine, be interested, and let your true colors shine. Because when it comes to the art of flirting, authenticity isn't just a strategy. It's the secret to genuine connections. Now that we've laid the groundwork, it's time to master the art of seduction. The dance of seduction is a subtle art form, a delicate and tantalizing balance between revealing and concealing, between advancing and retreating. The first step is to build tension and anticipation. This can be done by maintaining a sense of mystery about yourself, 
revealing just enough to pique their curiosity, but not so much that there's nothing left to discover. Keep them guessing, keep them intrigued. This creates an irresistible pull, a magnetic attraction that's hard to resist. Humor is another powerful tool in your arsenal. A well-timed joke can break the ice, make you more approachable and lighten the mood. It can also serve as a subtle form of flirting, a playful tease that can spark interest and attraction. But remember, the key to effective humor is timing and delivery. Don't force it, let it flow naturally. Compliments are another way to express your interest and attraction. But here's the secret. Make them genuine and specific. Instead of generic compliments, focus on something unique about the person. It could be their laugh, their wit, their style, anything that stands out to you. This not only makes your compliment more meaningful, but it also shows that you've been paying attention. And finally, subtlety is your best friend. Flirting is not about being overt or aggressive. It's about subtle hints and signals. It's about creating a spark, not a wildfire. It's about the thrill of the chase, the joy of the dance, the excitement of the game. So how do you put all these tips into action? Practice, practice, practice. Flirting, like any other skill, requires practice. Start small, build your confidence, and in time, you'll become a master of the art of seduction. And there you have it the art of flirting in all its fiery glory. Remember, practice makes perfect, so get out there and set some hearts ablaze.